Hello everyone. Welcome. Now to start this off, I'm just a man. A husband, a father, a grandfather, a son, a brother. Trying to maneuver through this chaotic world. A man in the same world you are and who just wants to share his thoughts and hopes. Thoughts and hopes that seem to be going, as you would say, against the grain. Now this channel, like the man, doesn't fit into the boxes, any of the boxes that this world has created for all of us. If you feel the same way, pull up a chair, pour yourself a drink. You may realize you're not alone in your thoughts and hopes that you have. I'm man. I'm 43 years old in this world, but I've always felt older than the age I was, uh, or am, or is. I grew up as a typical child in the United States, typically meaning I didn't experience anything drastic outside the parameters of my, of my environment. Although I have been through some storms in my life, which I'll get to another time. I guess for this first uh, journal entry, I just want to introduce the man. <clears throat> to the surface and begin this journey that I feel the higher power wanted me to do. <laughs> then getting confirmation from my therapist. I guess it felt right, I guess. I really don't know where this is going. Just as I don't know what the future holds for me. Probably the way, probably the same thoughts you might have as well. Now, in, in, in addition to my occupation, I have another YouTube channel. It's nothing big. I don't make any money from the platform. I'm just a man like you. I work hard for my living and have a wonderful family to share it with. It was a journey to get here, and I'm sure the rest of my life will be the journey as well. Either way, I believe life is worth living. I guess that'll be the topic for this first journal entry. I believe life is worth living. Belief. Believing. An acceptance that a statement is true or that something exists. I think man has always been, I think man has always looked for something to believe in. History shows before the thought of religion entered our minds, we had belief. Primitive man had to believe that the cold weather would bring snow into the mountains and melt into the waters and stay fresh. That the waters would feed the trees and the plants in order to bear the fruit of their labor for them and the, anim uh, and the animals to sustain. That the materials this earth offered them to make tools to hunt would work in order to feed their families to eat. Belief that the sun would come again to chase away all the monsters that went bump in the night. Truth. That which is true or in accordance with fact or reality. Now, regardless of our emotions or thoughts, truth doesn't always agree with man. Or should I say, man doesn't always agree with truth. I guess over time, we've changed on what fact and reality is. Life has gone from survival and you can say into gluttony, changing the true definition of fact and reality. I believe in our day and age, um, these are on opposite sides of a spectrum. 
we now have the ability, the ability to choose which part of the spectrum we want to be on, including in between. I think the time man has swung, so to speak, like a pendulum from one end to the next, seeking, looking, digging for something, something that can tell us what fact and reality really is, something that we never had or something that was hidden. Wherever we are on that scale, we are all in the same search, whether individually or as a whole. So what am I getting at? A life worth living. Our, our individual quote unquote facts and realities change our definition for our family as humans. I think that in order to find or rediscover why life is worth living lies in the purpose of being here. The belief and the true purpose. Now, however you believe we came into this world, whatever your beliefs. And when I say beliefs, I mean whether you think we came from aliens from outer space, we come from God, or we came in as energy into this world. I believe we were placed in this world for a purpose. Not by chance, or by something that happened spontaneously, some higher power has placed us here on purpose. What that purpose is, I'm not really sure. It's a possibility that we have individual purposes along with a purpose as a whole for humanity. Either way, we have a purpose. And I think in order to know where we are going, and what that purpose is, we can get a pretty good inclination if we know where we came from. Now, as you know, whoever you are, know that something big is happening in this world. I believe it has been for a while, and I think our eyes are just being open to it. Or that just could be me. Like I said earlier about purposes in this life, I think we have an individual purpose and one that serves the collective for mankind. Not just the not just in the material, but in the quote unquote spiritual as well. Wherever we are going in life, our individual purpose has everything to do with where we are going into a future we all are a part of. The higher being has a plan for us and we're to merely listen, think and act on that plan. But some run on a different belief on fact and reality. <clears throat> Facts and realities that place them in a battle with the higher power that they cannot defeat. But the ordinary man, you, me, we just want to live our life, raise our children, and die peacefully at an old age. But I think we've been lulled to sleep and given a false sense of peace and safety. The ordinary man, you and me. I don't think we're I don't think we're participants in this in this battle. But merely watchers of it. In hopes that the victor will show us the way. Not realizing the answer is inside of us, not outside. We need to awaken and realize that we are we are a part of, of a battle, but not the battle that the world is waging against the, uh, the higher power, but in the battle to awaken 
from the sleep our captures have us in. I don't think this higher power, the higher power isn't at odds with us, ordinary men, but at war with our captors that rule the world that we live in. While that battle wages, we must not participate, but allow that higher power to wear down the captors. Our battle is to wake up and help others to do the same. They're wicked into what? Our purpose to a life worth living through love and humility. Will there be bumps in this road? Well, have there been bumps in the roads in our lives before and now? I think we can all answer yes. Well, I've shared enough for today. Before I go, I'll leave you with this. When the man realizes he has more power than what he gives himself credit for, when the man realizes he has a higher power on his side, when the man realizes all he has to do is stand up and speak his mind and act upon those words out of love and humility, I believe that the next step for all of us and what has been for a long time. I think it's been time. I think it's time for man to step up. Well, I guess I've shared enough of my thoughts for now. I think I'll make a journal entry uh, weekly or I guess whenever I feel like venting. Um, I encourage you feel free to share your thoughts as well. Um, let the man know he isn't alone. See you next time.